Hey lovies, welcome to my channel, Craft Away with May. i uh, May. Welcome to my old and new subbies. I'm so glad to have you all here with me today as the thumbnail show. We're going to be working with the Dollar Tree Peel and Stick Wallpaper. We're going to jump into our first DIY, starting with this hanging basketball hoop toy that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree set um, Dollar Tree toy section. I'm going to be using some of my little handy dandy tools here. Them some big tools. Yep. <laughs> I got that little set from um um Dollar Tree some years ago, guys. I don't even know if they still sell it. But yeah, I've had it and it's come in quite handy for me. But basically all I did was I just disassembled or detached the hoop from the backing and now I'm just tracing out this brick print um, wallpaper and once I get that cut down to size guys now I pretend like I was measuring but I wasn't but yes I am here with my girl Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating we are bringing you guys some awesome DIYs today so I will have her information in my description box stop by tell her I said hello and if you are stopping over from Jenny's channel welcome I'm glad to have you here hopefully you'll consider joining my little YouTube family all right so once I get that cut down, guys, of course, you know, y'all know, I did not cut it down like it was supposed to be. <laughs> I was just faking the funk when I was measuring it out and cutting it down. But I almost got it near perfect, you know. Y'all know what I say. It's, you know, nobody's perfect. Nothing is perfect. We can only strive to be. Okay. And let me just tell y'all, too, this wallpaper, the backing, the 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 adhesive on this stuff for a dollar 25 is no joke honey okay y'all can say what you want to say about dollar tree and they dollar 25 <laughs> this wallpaper was stuck okay for life and i'm talking drake and nikki life okay <laughs> for life <laughs> So I'm just going in and piercing some holes um, in them just so I can attach back the hoop as it was. And I'm just using um, one of my little Cricut tools to do that. And I just go ahead and screw them back in. Now, I will say also, guys, that you may want to use some heavier-duty adhesive here just a little bit. I'm not going to be putting anything super heavy in here, but... You know, just for our security measures, you just want to maybe put something a little extra heavy duty in there. And then next, I'm just going in with some of these bamboo wood dowels that I ordered off of Amazon. They are the square shape ones. I have used these for several years now. And they're super soft and easy to work with and lightweight, which is one of the reasons I really, really love working with them. I painted them in the color black um, by Waverly. And then what my original thought was here is that I was going to make this as a hanging um, planter. Kind of to resemble a fireplace. I do love creating a little fireplace. I, I have made some several times on my channel. Probably about a few years back using picture frames. I just love them. I think they're super cute. But as this assembly started coming together, I'm like... This has to be a shelf sitter because this started looking way cuter than what I anticipated. <laughs> so I'm taking the little flower pots that you get from Dollar Tree. The ones that come three in a pack. I painted that same black color. And guys, I really love this. I don't know why. It can be the simplest of DIYs that I just absolutely love sometimes. And this is one of those. And this just came out absolutely just pretty to me. It really did. And so, as you can see there, I'm just taking a piece of pool noodle, putting it down in the bottom there. And then next, I'm going to take some flower picks that I got from Michael's for 80 cents. And they're just the little cabbage roses. And I don't know what the other greenery is. But once I put it in here and up against that backing, that wallpaper, oh, y'all, I just thought this was so pretty. And I was like, uh-uh, this has to be a show center. <laughs> I think it has to be. So I'm taking some of the scrap wood pieces from Dollar Tree. Now, if you have access to a home improvement store, you're probably going to get a better deal for these. But this is what I had available to me, and it's what I'm using. And, I mean, it's only $2.50. So, yeah, it didn't break the bank. But more cost, to be more cost efficient, you definitely can pick up some scrap wood or purchase better wood from 
a home improvement store by all means. So also, I'm not big on, you know, doing the back of my projects, especially if it's something just for me. I just don't believe in wasting paint like that um, or paper, whatever. But in this case, like, I really, really like this. I was like, you know what? We're going to go all in and we're going to paint the back. So that's what I did. I painted the back. <laughs> and I also added in another wood doll at the bottom just to finish it off. And guys, I love this piece. Okay, so let me know what you think about it. We're going to move into our next project. Now, I picked this bucket up from Dollar Tree. Um, it is an Easter bu uh, bucket or basket, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure if it was $1.25 or if it was in the plus section. I honestly can't remember. I feel like I did ask the cashier and they said it was $1.25, but I can't remember. So if somebody else purchased this, let me know what's the price. But it's not a big deal. Anyway, I'm going to take the eucalyptus wallpaper. And I'm using my little flexi ruler here and my pencil, you know, measuring it out where I want to cut it down. I don't know what I was doing, but I was doing it. It looked like I was doing it right, huh? Yep, it sure does. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. <laughs> I think I, I think I measured it out five inches. Guys, I think. I don't know. I think so. But if I didn't, you know, just, just trust your gut. Don't trust me. Trust your gut. Okay? <laughs> don't do it. Especially when it comes to measuring, y'all. Don't do it. Don't do it. I beg of you. But anyway, I thought this paper would look really pretty up against this little um, tub. And I it really did. I really liked the way it came through. It was very bright and just, I don't know, refreshing to me. I don't know. Just like seems just bright and airy. So as I'm putting on this wallpaper guys, you have to make sure to smooth out those bubbles because it did get some bubbles in there and I'm not the best at doing wallpaper because I've not actually um, done this on my channel before. So I have not, I've worked with um, contact paper before, but not the wallpaper. So, and I wasn't that great at the contact paper either, but I got it done just like I'm getting this done. But um, yeah. So I just, you know, I'm just rolling with it at this point. I really, you know, I was just trying to see what I could come up with, guys. So then next I was like, well, let's just cut down the brick wallpaper, you know, little parts of it. And I thought it would make a nice layering effect here. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to take some of these words that I got from Michael's. They came like three in a pack. You get three different words. These were from Halloween and from Christmas. So I got them after the season sale. And they were like buy two, get four free. And they were $2.99 originally. So literally it's like only like 50 cents for them, which I think is a really, really, <clears throat> excuse me, good deal. And I really like the way this came together. So next I'm just taking some of the white uh, Waverly chalk paint and I painted that over the word hello. Now I'm going to apply this part of the wallpaper right on top. And I call myself centering it guys. That's what I'm doing here. Like I'm getting it together. Y'all see, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm about that business when it comes to crafting. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hot mess studios that's what that's what i should have named my channel <laughs> may's hot mess studio <laughs> that's what should have happened so i'm really liking this i don't know why i just really think they came together really pretty now i'm taking some butterflies because it's butterfly season in my heart and these butterflies came from dollar tree in the gardening section and i'm just i didn't on the back i didn't put the the piece of the brick paper on the back I don't know why I didn't I just did it but anyway so I'm going to take a couple couple more of those butterflies then I remembered that I had wanted to put some juice twine around the the eucalyptus part and so of course I forgot about it because I was just being too busy and not focused and so I'm like okay we still gonna put this on here so I put it on there it was a little off just like me but it's okay it still came together and I really like it so I did that on both sides then I decided to add some juice wine to the handles and so I just tie it off a little bit and then I put just a little dab of hot glue on there and then I just start rolling it and rolling it and rolling it rolling rolling on the river yep just like Tina. So, 
and the, those vocals were smooth huh? y'all was a, y'all was not ready for those vocals i know y'all wasn't i know y'all wasn't ah! come back next week for some more <laughs> I'm here every week at seven. <laughs> All right. So next candles. Okay. Something else I've never really done on my channel before is use the Dollar Tree candles. Now I've had, I have several of these in my stash. Not sure what I want to do with them. Had some ideas. I've jotted down some things of what I want to do. So I'm, I'm definitely going to revisit this, but I will be very honest with you guys and let you know. Now, this particular project or craft or DIY, whatever you want to call it, it was not a big wow. You know, it was just me testing the waters, if you will, just to see if I could come up with something. So I literally was just going at this point. Like I was just like, OK, I have this. I have the wallpaper. Let me see how I can bring the two together. And so I pretty much follow the same concept as I did with the bucket, which is to apply the eucalyptus wallpaper and then um, just outline it with the jute twine. And I do add in some other embellishments you'll see here in just a few seconds. And it's a cute set. And truthfully, the bucket these candles and then the next project would make a really cute set together and um you guys can let me know how you feel about that when we look at everything in the final reveal and um i did as you saw there cut different like um strips or size of the eucalyptus paper and wrapped it around the candles and then i just decided okay i'm just gonna wrap some around the neck of it and at the bottom and it is giving me a little bit of like uh beachy vibes if you will just because of the colors but um i do think it is a nice spring piece or set should i say i go in i add in some of these half beads i am going to add in of course some more butterflies but these are going to be some butterfly stickers that i got from hobby lobby and so i'm really liking this like i'm like you know i think this might work but like i say it was not a big like oh wow like something you need like out of the you know <laughs> something out of, out of the ordinary it was not like that at all um it was just me again, you know, I know I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but yeah, it was just me testing the waters, just trying to, to see if we can make something of it. All right. And so we're going to move on to our next one. And this project or this set of little baskets came from Dollar Tree as well. They come three in a set and I am going to be using some more of that eucalypt eucalyptus contact paper. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera. Um, but I can't really see it that well, but on these little baskets on the sides, they have some little ridges and right down the middle, they have, it's like super smooth. So I cut this down like, okay, you got this girl, look at you cutting and it's fitting. I'm like, okay. <laughs> So I do that for all three. I don't decorate all three on camera because they're literally going to be the same. But what I did do and I did not like was, again, following the previous two, <laughs> I, I put the contact paper down, put the jute twine around it, and I did not like it. And I think that was because the surface was a lot smaller and it just looked way too jumbled. So I do end up just putting the contact paper on the other side and a couple of smaller half beads and just a single um, pick in there. And I will show you guys both sides at the final reveal. So, and you guys can let me know which side you like best. If we like it with the jute twine, I can always add it. If not, I can just leave it as is where the backs are showing. All right, so next up is our... This is technically our final project, but we do have a half of one coming up. <laughs> so what you see here is I have some cardboard that I had, you know, um, this is more like a trash to treasure, guys. As you also saw there, I had some toilet roll, um, toilet paper rolls. And um, the cardboard that I had in my stash, it's like a 12 by 12. And I'm just taking this shiplap wallpaper and I'm going to put that right onto the cardboard on both cardboard pieces. 
and I just cut it down to size I am gonna go in and cut down some more to cover up the topping um, or the top part of this just to make give it full coverage and once I got those completely covered I am then going to take this fence that I had um, used in a previous video that <laughs> we were challenged to use this and I had an idea for it it didn't work out I got flustered I ended up tossing it <laughs> and I was like you know what I have to redeem myself okay I need to bring this back and redeem myself so that's why it's here now I cut it down to size to fit the um cardboard cut out there and I'm just adding in some glue to it and I am using both the long-term Gorilla Glue as well as hot glue and we're just going to adhere that to um, one of the cardboard pieces and I'm showing you guys all the gluing that I'm doing so yeah enjoy that how about that <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we get that part um, adhered to it, so to the side. Then we're going to bring in the toilet paper rolls, okay? And we're just going to add those to the bottom here because they are going to act as the base for this piece. And I only use three here. And I also should have painted these. I'm going to give you guys a full disclosure that I realized after the fact that I, um, once I adhere these together, and I think I'm jumping ahead. Why well, I am jumping ahead. Let's stay focused. Okay. So, <laughs> it's hard for me to stay focused. So, I'm just adding in some hot glue here. And I only use hot glue for this portion of it because it's paper on paper, basically. And a heavier duty adhesive would not be required here. So then next I'm taking some of the jumbo tower tumbling blocks, adding those to the top on the sides. And that's just to keep the top portion of this piece stable because without it, once I add anything to it, it would, you know, cause the toppings to buckle or bend or something like that. And I didn't want that. So this is what I was about to say earlier is that I did not finish the sides off because looking at this, literally you can like see, like tell it's toilet paper roll so i was like okay my bad i was tired guys like i was really tired I've, I, you know i've shared with you guys in the past i work a lot of hours and i don't have a lot of time to craft and i'm usually crafting in the wee hours and i was just tired so just you know just give your girl a little grace i you know i i I didn't see it all the way through, but trust me, the end result is very pretty. I promise you that. So next, I decided to snip off the little spike parts here. And this part, I could have totally omitted as I look at it now uh, because it just started looking like a half castle or something. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I was tired. I can tell you that. I was very, very tired. <laughs> So then I'm taking this beautiful wisteria um, picks that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Absolutely gorgeous in the lavender color. And I'm just feeding those into the little toilet tissue tubes at the bottom. And that's it, guys, for this piece. Like, yeah, I think it came out really pretty. So you guys have to let me know. I mean, I would not have, you know, think that it was cardboard and toilet tissue paper rolls. If anybody asked me, I want to know. <laughs> I wouldn't think it. All right, so this is our half. This is our half hack. <laughs> so I found these reusable um, dry erase a dry erase pockets at Dollar Tree in the supply section. And I thought this would be super cool to make like a little hanging piece for your refrigerator. Now, I'm just going to slide in a piece of this contact paper. I did not remove the backing off of that um, because I didn't want it sticky. But you can use cardstock. You can just leave it plain and just have the backing to show your refrigerator. Like its options are endless here. But I just thought it would be super cute to create something like a message board for the family like just to say hey you know do the dishes <laughs> sorry guys if you can hear the motorcycle I apologize so do the dishes as I was saying or take out the trash do your homework all those things you know and even if you have little ones this would be a great way to occupy their time if you are trying to cook or do something in the kitchen and you just don't want them near the stove or hot water I think this would be a creative way to um 
catch their attention and keep them busy while you're able to take care of business. So I just thought this was super cool and wanted to share with you guys um, another way that you could use this wallpaper and not actually have to adhere to anything. You just kind of slide it in, slide it out, and you're good to go. Now, Dollar Tree also had some good selection of dry erase markers, and I was really surprised because... It was something I never really paid attention to. But I was like, these are some pretty cool colors, which is what made me think about the kids because, you know, they love color. And this is a great way to introduce them to color in different, you know, different things. And it, it wipes away very easily, as you see there, no water, no anything. It is truly a dry erase board, guys. So I think it was pretty cool hack. But let me know, guys. We are now at the final reveal. Let me know how you guys feel about everything. If you had a favorite today, I want to hear about that, too. And, guys, if you are still here riding with me, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate the love that you guys continue to show me and how you guys continue to support me. I appreciate that as well. And also, guys, I just want to ask if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Just know that those comments are always desired and never ever are they required because i absolutely love to chat with you guys after each and every video i know i have not been responding right away it's just been kind of hectic between work and all the comments and i really want to be able to respond and to say hello thank you because i do appreciate each and every one of you guys um but just you know have a little patience with me i i really do try to get to them and just say hello and thank you for the most part all right and also guys subscribe subscribe if you have not done so and share you know just to help my channel out we are on the road trying to reach 5k if we can do that you guys know what happens when we reach a milestone and um yeah i i you know it's something i want to do a lot of work going to the videos and i would just love to see our little family grow here on youtube so that's all i ask of you and guys don't forget, <clears throat> I am collabing with my good friend Jenny today, and I will have her information in my description box below, as well as a pop-up coming here in just a few minutes. I also want to say thanks, Brenda, for sharing your absolutely cute projects with me, girl. You were busy, 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 and I love each and every piece, all right? And loveys, until the next video, be safe, be kind, and happy crafting your days away, loveys. Hugs and kisses, XOXO. Bye.